Welcome back everyone to an all new video on Tutor LMS Academy. Today we have a how to guide on how to add custom fields on the Tutor LMS registration page. So there's multiple ways to handle this. In this video, we will talk about manually editing the code and overriding our theme file to make the changes in the registration page. So for the first step, we need to locate our WordPress site files. So you can locate the files from your hosting provider or you can use any type of third party file manager plugin to find your files. So once you've located your WordPress site folders and files, we'll need to go to the app folder. After that, click on the public folder and then we go to the WP content folder. Now in this folder, we'll have to first go to plugins. Then we'll need to go inside the tutor folder and copy this templates folder we're going to paste this back somewhere else so we're gonna go back into the plugins folder and then back into the WP content folder and over here we'll need to go into themes once in themes go into the folder of the theme that you are currently using our site is currently running tutor starter the free theme that you can enable for tutor LMS go into tutor starter and paste the templates folder that we had just copied. Now we're going to rename this to tutor. And after we're done with that, so now we need to go back to the WordPress backend panel. So the, back at the WordPress panel, now we can finally start editing our theme files. So we'll go into appearance and click on theme file editor. So the moment you click onto this page, we didn't get it, but you'll get a warning message saying you should not edit or make edits here directly. And we 100% agree with this. So either keep a copy of all the original files of your theme or create a child theme and make the edits there. We'll have links down in the description on how you can create a child theme and get that up and running. But at the end of the day, we need to make sure that we've copied the templates folder and pasted it back into our theme folder, whatever that theme folder might be. Once we've ensured all that, now we can start with the process. So throughout this process, we'll need to be using some code snippets that we can get from the Tutor LMS documentation on custom field on registration. We're going to be using these code snippets and pasting it back into various places to be able to add a custom field. So first of all, we need to copy this part of the code. Just go ahead and copy that. So basically this code ensures that every user will have to provide the data upon registration and that this data is stored securely in the user's metadata. And we'll need to go back to our WordPress backend. Over here, we need to select this functions.php theme file. And at the bottom, just paste the code that we had copied and press update file. Once you're done with that, we'll head back over to the documentation again. And now we need to copy this code snippet. So this code snippet is pretty simple. It just adds an input field for our variable to the form. This code ensures that users can input their data in the form and it retains the previously entered value if the form is reloaded. So go ahead and copy this go back to the WordPress backend and we'll need to go to tutor. This is the, by the way, this is the templates folder that we had copied. So go to tutor, click on dashboard, go to this drop down, and find the registration.php file. We'll go to this one and we will paste the code snippet somewhere here. We can see that we have um, the first name field and the last name field. So obviously we don't want to add something extra between these two fields. So, so we can just go ahead and paste the code after the username section. It doesn't really matter. You can, you can place this wherever you want. So once we're done with that, we'll go back to the documentation page again. And this is a recurring theme. We'll keep coming back to this page. Now we'll copy the next code snippet and go back to WordPress backend again. Now, once again, from the tutor and the dashboard dropdown, we'll find the myprofile.php file. Oh, we forgot to update this. So let's go ahead and click update file. Be sure to 
do that after you copy your code anywhere. So we'll go to myprofile.php and we need to paste the code snippet that we've just copied. So we're gonna actually paste the code snippet right here because this is basically adding a variable. So it fetches the information associated with a specific user and stores it in the variable. And then we can go on to the next step. So we'll copy the next code snippet and we have to paste this back into the same file which is the myprofile.php file. And this code is ensuring that the user's data is displayed in their profile on the front end dashboard. And if it's not available, a placeholder will be shown instead. After you're done with that, press update file. And we've updated this file with the new code. Now we'll go back to the documentation for one last time and we'll copy this code snippet. This is the second last one, by the way. And basically this code is just used to add an input field for our variable in the form. So since we're taking in an ID, this form field is going to be specifically designed for numeric input. And we're making sure that users can only input positive numbers in the form. So after we've copied this, we'll go back to the backend panel and we'll find tutor and then dashboard. And then we have to find the settings dropdown. Click on on that and we'll go to profile.php. So till now we've been working on myprofile.php but this is under settings called profile.php. Click on this file and we'll find the end of uh, one of the divs so we'll place it once again after first name and last name and we'll find the end of username and press enter create a new line and we'll paste our code right here. So by the way this code has been to add a custom registration field for national ID. So when students want to register for your site, they'll need to provide their ID and then they can register onto your site. So you'll have that information on your site. This is just to add one more step of um, security, if you will. So after we've added that code, we'll need to go ahead and click update file. And now once we've updated all these files, let's take a look at the registration page and see if our changes have taken effect. So we're on the registration page. We'll click on register now. And there you have it. You can see that we have a new field called NID or national ID. You can name this whatever you want. If you want to add any sort of custom registration fields, you'll just need to follow the process that we've done, but you need to rename the variables within the codes so that it corresponds to exactly what you want the custom field to be. And there you have it, everyone. That's how you can add a custom field for your registration page. By the way, one more uh, small troubleshoot. So if the registration page is not showing up for you, all you need to do is go to Tutor LMS and scroll down to Tools. We'll need to go to Tutor Pages and make sure you regenerate all the Tutor Pages and that will ensure that the registration page comes on every time. And well, there you have it, folks. That was our setup on how to add custom registration fields for Tutor LMS. Be sure to let us know in the comments if you face any difficulties and follow along our documentation pages for further customizability. As always, I'll see you all in the next one.